Hello, I'm Anna from the Centre for Sustainable Energy and I'm going to explain how to set a programmable room thermostat like this one. These devices are part of many central heating systems and they control when your radiators come on and off and how warm your house gets. There's lots of different types of these but they all work in similar ways. Some of them you can set differently for every single day of the week, others have the same setting every day and others you can set the same times for Monday to Friday, but different times for Saturday and Sunday. This is one of those. On this programmer, you can change the settings by moving this pin or jumper at the back. Seven means different settings for each day of the week. Five, two means the same settings for Monday to Friday and a different one on Saturday and Sunday and span tells you whether you can set the temperature in whole degrees or half a degree. Note that this is in centigrade only. This programmer is battery operated and wireless so you can put it anywhere at all you like within your home. It's important though not to put it anywhere too hot like near a radiator or fire or anywhere too cold and drafty so not near any doors or windows. First of all I'm going to set the current day and time to do this, I press select and set at the same time to enter clock setting mode. You'll see that the time will be flashing and when something's flashing, it means you can adjust it. I use the up and down arrows to adjust the hours and the minutes. And when the time is right, I press select again. Now I do the same for the day of the week. I press set to save and return to normal mode. On this programmer, if you don't press anything for a little while, it automatically goes back to normal mode. If this happens, just start again. What you have already entered will be saved. Next, it's time to set the heating patterns. This tells the heating system how warm to be at different times of the day. Once your home reaches the right temperature, the heating will go off automatically. The programmers normally come with preset factory settings. Typically, these will be to warm the home up for a couple of hours in the morning and for five or six hours at night. But outside these times, the boiler won't come on unless the home gets really cold. If you're happy with those, then fine. If not, then this is how to set your own. I'm going to set two times that I want the heating nice and warm during the day, a morning time and an evening time. I'm out during the day so I don't need the heating to be on at all during that time. But this isn't just a timer, it's a timer and a thermostat. So when you set a time period you're saying, during this time I want the temperature to be 20 degrees or something like that. You're not saying, during this time the boiler is on and during that time the boiler is off. So at some point during a heating period the heating will go off because the home has reached the temperature I set and during a non-heating period, the boiler might come on because the home has got too cold. I'm going to set the heating to warm up in the morning, ready for when I get out of bed. I get up at seven o'clock, so I'm going to program it at 6.30, as most homes take about half an hour to warm up, and I'm going to set it at 20 degrees, a nice warm temperature for most people. And I'll set it to finish at eight o'clock, I don't leave for work until 8.30, but because the home takes about half an hour to cool down, this is okay. So at eight o'clock, the thermostat goes down to 14 degrees. No one's in at that time, so that's fine. And if it gets even colder than that, then the boiler would fire up. When I come back in the afternoon around five o'clock, I want the home to be already warm. So the next heating period starts at 4.30. And again, we'll warm the home to 20 degrees. I tend to go to bed around 11.30, so I'll set this heating period to finish at 11. So that's the heating pattern I want. Here's how to set the timer to make that happen. First of all, press set. You can see that the days or day of the week is flashing. And when something's flashing, it means you can adjust it. This one is flashing Monday to Friday. I press select to enter programming mode for these days. On this programmer, there are five different time periods that I can set per day. You don't need to use all of them. Using the up or down arrows, choose the time that you would like the first heating period to start in the morning, 6.30. On this programmer, you do the hour first, then the minutes, and finally the temperature. 
So at 6.30 in the morning, the heating will come on and it will heat the home up to a nice comfortable 20 degrees. When we've done this, it moves to the next setting, number two. This is the end of the first heating period and we set it in the same way, doing the up or down arrows. I'm going to say that at eight o'clock, the temperature of the house can be just 14 degrees because I'm going to be out. I don't leave until 8.30, but the home stays warm for about half an hour after the boiler goes off. I adjust each time and temperature and select to confirm and move on to the next step until I've done this for all five time periods. I've set the heating times for Monday to Friday. I now need to set the times for Saturday and Sunday unless I was using the factory settings. This is the programme and the display is in normal mode. It shows the current day of the week, which programme is currently running, the current time and the current temperature. This one's showing 27.5 degrees because I'm holding it in my hand so the room isn't really this warm. If the boiler is on then there will be a picture of a little flame flickering here. If you want to override your programme temperature for a short period, perhaps you're at home when you didn't expect to be, you can do this by using the up arrow to change the temperature to your desired setting. This will temporarily override the temperature setting for this time period and the heating will come on. The next time setting, the programmer will revert back to normal and none of your original settings will be changed. This override function works in the same way if you want to decrease the temperature, say if you're going out unexpectedly and don't want to heat your home unnecessarily. Just press the down arrow on the programmer until you reach the temperature you want. The other button on the front has two functions. One is to light the display. Press it once and the display will light up for five seconds. The other is frost protection mode. This overrides the program's settings and means the heating will only come on if the home temperature is as low as just five degrees, enough to stop water pipes freezing and is used when no one's going to be in the home for a while. To activate this, you need to keep your finger pressed on it until the snowflake symbol appears. To turn it off, press and hold it for three seconds. The display will revert back to normal and the programmer will keep running according to the times and temperatures you've previously set. Finally, keep an eye out for a picture of a battery appearing in the bottom corner of the display. This is the low battery indicator. When you do replace the batteries, do it quickly, otherwise your settings will no longer be saved and it will revert back to the factory settings. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.